Hi Cubies, here's Alexandra again and welcome back to another painting tutorial. Well, it's uh, over a year uh, ago that I uh, brought you this uh, painting tutorial for this Necron here. Uh, well, the base has changed uh, uh, since that time, but the Necron is still the same. But uh, since that time I was uh, searching for a painting um, scheme, a color scheme for my Necrons uh, that is easy to paint and uh, quick to paint and I really like. So, uh, well, it took a year until I was uh, finally uh, happy to uh, find something that I really liked and this is here the result. So, um, this is a, a brass Necron and uh, as you can see he's uh, uh, heavily oxidized uh, on this armor and uh, yeah I found this uh, color scheme on Instagram <coughs> and uh, one second the uh, guy who made this painting tutorial is named uh, uh, Harvey Edge Hobby and uh, I have a link uh, to his Instagram down there in the doobly-doo and uh, well, give him a, uh, a thumbs up or a heart and uh, a comment that girl painting sends you, girl painting sends her regards. <laughs> yeah, um, I really liked his color scheme and uh, what he's done with his Necrons and uh, well, uh, better good copy it uh, than uh, bad self-invented and uh, so I just simply uh, copied his color scheme and this is how it looks. I uh, made different bases here. Uh, I made uh, them with a combination of two items. Um, this is here the uh, Vallejo Thick Mud Acrylics uh, for the base and uh, then the uh, water effect on there. This uh, glossiness is here from uh, AK Puddles. A neat little product and uh, this is how the bases look like. Yeah, and uh, we will start right up with a painting tutorial. Be right back. So, there I'm back and with a pre-ramble out of the way, we have here our uh, neat little Necron Warrior uh, primed in black and uh, he is ready to go. So, um, the first uh, thing that we are going to do is use uh, Citadel Warblock Bronze or any other dark bronze or tin bits color that you uh, prefer. And we put that on our wet palette. <coughs> Take a big old brush and we will simple, simply uh, over brush all the areas uh, that are supposed to be armored. Well, <coughs> Well, basically the entire miniature, except the gun and maybe the head. The head will be done in silver, <coughs> but the rest of the miniature can get a good, nice coat of that. <coughs> it doesn't uh, have to be absolutely perfect. Here and there can a little bit of black show through. This is totally okay. This is supposed to be a very quick paint job for this Necrons. And so <coughs> we do that rather quickly. So don't use uh, your best brushes for that. This heavy overbrushing is toxic for your brushes. So use a big old brush. This here has a uh, Absolutely seen several several mileages of uh, miles and miles of uh, painting and Yeah, he He can take he can take it So <coughs> This area here there we go. You can do that uh, if you're batch painting rather quickly. Another method uh, would be to airbrush this. <coughs> you 
but I usually don't use an airbrush. I know it is uh, very effective in painting miniatures and it is fast in painting miniatures, but it takes a long time to clean and I hate airbrush cleaning. After each step you have to rigorously clean the airbrush and uh, nothing for me. Also I don't really like the finish that an airbrush provides, this uh, super smooth gradients. Mm, nah. That's not my style. I don't like that very much. Yeah, so uh, the Necron is uh, nicely painted on brass and uh, we will let that dry completely and then we will go to the next stage. Okie dokie tubies, now we are at the stage where we uh, try to emulate this uh, nice oxidized texture with that. <coughs> and uh, you have uh, a few options for that. You could uh, go for some teal colors that you have. For example here from uh, Scale Color Fantasy range, uh, the uh, Sapphire Orc Flash or from uh, Army Painter War Paints, uh, the Wizard's uh, Orb. Or here from Citadel, the Nahalak Oxide. This is uh, <coughs> obviously a technical paint and very thin. Um, the other ones are normal colors, but you can thin them down. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, put some of that on our palette. Just like that. <coughs> <coughs> Remove a little bit of the excess paint. And then uh, we simply stipple on unregular uh, patterns onto the armor. The brass will show through, <coughs> but that's uh, absolutely what we are going for. We don't want a uniform uh, teal color. We just want to have the upper areas like they are corroded and oxidized and with that uh, you go over it and then you stipple a little bit here and there and we do that two times after this is dry a second time with a, a little bit brighter version of that. And we take uh, all the armor panels with that. Keep it uh, relatively uneven and irregular. Here are the big shoulder plates. Ah, the feet. I always forget the feet. Don't get yourself defeated. Paint the feet. <laughs> okay, <coughs> there we go. That was number one. <coughs> and then for number two, I take here the scale color version. Oops, sorry. That I hit the camera. A little bit on the palette. <clears throat> and then we brighten that up with a tiny bit of white. And yeah, there we go. Also a drop of water in it. <clears throat> I know that. And we hit the panels again. 
seemingly randomly here and there. So this paint scheme is not award winning or will you win, win any crystal brushes but I think uh, this is a very striking color scheme that is very easy to paint and gets your army fast on the table if that's what you want. For me for example uh, the Necrons are uh, uh, a second army, something uh, I can give, for example, to a friend for a game who has, doesn't have an army, so I can uh, have somebody to play with. So, uh, I think it could use a little bit more white. <coughs> So let's mix that quickly together for some final stippling highlights. Just here and there a little bit. Yeah, and uh, with that, the armor is done. <coughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I will now uh, do the following steps, <coughs> as you can see here. On this miniature, I will uh, prepare this uh, energy coils and this uh, area here on the weapon uh, with some white. Um, also, I will uh, paint all the silver parts. Those are uh, all the uh, well, yeah, the joints uh, between the uh, legs and arms and stuff. I will paint that in silver really quick. Um, yeah, what else? Also, uh, the head will be painted in silver and the eyes also in white. And uh, shake up your uh, technical Tesseract Glow. It uh, always uh, gets a, a thick layer here on the bottom. And even uh, the agitator balls uh, sink in and stuck in there and don't get loose. So, uh, yeah, but get it ready. And, uh, well... I'll be right back. So the white is dry and now it's time for Tesseract to glow. Just put it on and let it do its magic. I really really like this color. This works so well. So, and don't worry about uh, the spillage here and there. We will correct that with black afterwards. And also here, his eyes. <coughs> we will correct the things around it with silver afterwards. So, we leave that to dry overnight. <coughs> and I will come back in the mo morning and finish this paint job uh, for you. It will be just one second. Be right back. Okie dokie, Tubies. As I have said before, uh, we have arrived at the junction now, and uh, here you can see I have uh, painted all the uh, uh, silver parts now in silver, like I said. Uh, I also uh, primed his blade in white <coughs> so we can uh, make their nice uh, color transition from a dark green to a bright green, and uh, our um, Tesseract Glow is now dry. 
and uh, we will fix now the uh, problems here uh, let me zoom in a little bit more <coughs> uh, with some black paint so just like that with a small brush go over the surface like that and you see you have uh, cleaned up this surface now see easy as that so uh, I will finish that up here with the cleaning part and be right back in a second. And there we are back. So um, the black is now covered and uh, now it's time for our, our green blade here. So um, we will first uh, prime the blade in a, a yellow green here from Valeria Model Colors, but you could also uh, use Jungle Green from War Paints, for example, or Scorpion Green from Games Workshop, or something similar. So we start uh, in this case with a, a very bright uh, yellow green, because uh, these colors tend to not cover very well, and uh, when you directly start with a dark color, uh, you won't get the coverage that you want. <clears throat> and so we start with a bright color. Just like that. And now we take our dark green tone. <clears throat> over color again and we uh, make a nice uh, stippling motion here to uh, wet blend them together just like that just blur the blur the line <coughs> now I take a little bit of uh, black into uh, the dark green color Blend a little bit on the top here. Just like that. A little bit of the old color. Also, if you are not comfortable in uh, painting those power weapons, uh, you could simply paint these plates in silver. Now we uh, let that dry completely and um, we will uh, take now the last step on the uh, miniature itself. And this is uh, some edge highlighting in gold. So take your nice gold color for that. And we will now uh, well, simply edge highlight all those uh, raised edge, edges here with some gold to make it look like uh, this is a brass um, carapace that he has, his armor plates. And, uh, <clears throat> well, um, this uh, surface edges, uh, the brass is a little bit worn away. You could also... Uh, make some uh, scratches here and there where you think the armor plate would have a scratch and show the original color just 
just like that. See, it's uh, rather simple. Then uh, here on uh, these uh, tube shapes, you simply go around the edges here. It doesn't have to be 100% uh, uh, needle with hair a line with the edge highlighting just like that so that you can see the gold trim so uh, in the end it looks like that yeah and uh, that's basically it that's the painting tutorial uh, I told you how to uh, create the base but you can uh, do your own uh, base basing however you like with sand and painting it or a pre-made base or whatever have you. Yeah, that's basically uh, the painting tutorial for um, this Necron Warrior and uh, well, I hope you like this and uh, we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra and uh, don't forget to hit the bell to uh, always get notified for new videos uh, that come out from me uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button and uh, all the button buttons and uh, leave comments uh, actually leaving comments and hitting the uh, like button is um, a perfect way to get more videos from me because the YouTube algorithm will uh, see oh you like this content well we have here a little bit more of that so here you have it Here's another video, and another one, and another one. <clears throat> See, that's what the likes are good for. It's not to help my channel in particular, it's helping your search engine to find the videos that you like to see. So, if you like my content, hit the like button, so the algorithm sees, oh, you like that content, have some more of it. See, that's so easy. Yeah, um... Enough of this. I hope you liked this little tutorial and we see us in the next video. You're Alexandra.